Welcome, in this video I'll show you how you can set up a Yana bot on Discord. Now, you can see you will need to first go to the Ayana website, which you can find in the description. Then you will need to click on invite to server. Here you will be redirected to the Discord page and here you will need to select a server where you would like to invite this bot to. If you click on continue, here you can see all of the permissions that you are granting in this bot. If you agree to that, you can click on authorize. Then you will need to confirm that you are a human. After that's done, you will be redirected to the Ayana page again and you can see that you have successfully added the bot to your Discord server. If we now go back to Discord and check the server, you can see Ayana bot has been invited. Now if you go back to the website and click on the Ayana website again, you can see there is this button that says commands. And right here you have the whole command list. So as you can see there are a ton of commands. And there are also all the descriptions about uh, each command and what it does. If you go back to the server and you click on the Ayana profile, you can also see there are some default commands here like slash help. And then if you type that in, you can see th there is a brief description of the most important, uh, most, most important commands basically. Now in this case, let's try to use it as a music bot. So here you can also select a category and we will select music. So now if you join a voice channel right here and type into the chat slash music, you can see you have all of the music commands here. So you can click music join and then you can select a voice channel, which is which in this case is just uh, this one since we only have vo one voice channel. Then we will need to send this and you can see the bot has been or the bot has joined our voice channel. Now here we can now type in slash music play and here we can then type in a query so this for example could be spongebob chase music and you can see it suggests the top 10 search results that this bot found if you now um, select the sixth sound which is two minutes and seven seconds long we'll click on six and now you can see the bot has started playing the sound and now we also have a few more commands so if you type in slash music again you can also pause this you can make the bot leave the channel, you can also um, just skip to a specific song here and you can also skip back in that queue list so you can basically just listen to the song that was previously played and if you scroll down you can see there are a lot more commands about this. Now I will need to pause this bot because it is kind of irritating me and I cannot talk while I'm listening to something. So uh, I've paused this bot now, I'll type in, I will type in music again and if you scroll down you can see stop skip shuffle so this will shuffle the queue uh, rewind reset repeat you can see and and you can even set the volume and so that's how you can play music now let's take a look at all of the other commands which is for example general and images so if you now type in slash blush then type in enter you can see there is this gif of someone blushing if i type it in again you can see there is display something else however it is basically just this blush that is being displayed or for example I could type in slash hug and then there will be a gif of someone hugging someone else so you can now scroll up again and here we have some general commands as well so you can also clean chats or you can also ban or kick someone using using the bot now if you go back to their website you can see there are all of these commands here so if I now um, go to the section of music again, you will basically see all of these commands, which is music in this case, as you've seen. If you go to moderation, you can see there are all of these. So you can ban users, kick users. You can also set self-assignable roles. You can give roles to people. So you can uh, type in slash give role. So for example, let's try this out, slash give role. Okay, you can see it is called role give. Here we can select the role basically, so uh, in this case, let's see, we can uh, give someone the admin role and uh, then we can select the user or the bot. So bot is set to true since this, can, since this will be a bot and here if I now type in the username which is fretboat in this case and if I now type uh, and if I now hit enter, you can see this is actually wrong since we cannot use um, since we only can use one of these so let's try this again 
role give i will select the role again which is admin and then the user which is um, the fretboat bot and you can see this role cannot be added to this bot because the role admin is actually um, higher than the role from this bot so in order to fix this you will need to go to your server settings to roles and here you will need to um, select ayana and drag it to the top of this so this means ayana can give new role admin and fretboard role to um, all of the users so if i now if i now do the same thing again i'll select fretboard hit enter and you can see it is done so fretboard has now the admin role and so these are pretty much the most important features of the ayana bot if this video was helpful make sure to like the video and thank you for watching